Good evening, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you all are doing well today, and I hope you all have a beginning of a great week, and I hope you are taking care of yourself, drinking water, and just being careful in this heat. This is Hood Action News. We're your hosts. I'm Gigi. I'm Usagi. And I'm A.E. And we got a couple of topics we're going to go ahead and discuss tonight. Um, We're going to go ahead and get this mess out of the way. So I ain't going to say his name. We're just going to say Blue Dookie. That's his name. Blue Dookie. (laughs) Blue Dookie, a week or two ago, just was on the internet again. On Beyonce's internet, just posting whatever he always does. So basically, um, he decided that he wanted to go and just basically bring all these thoughts and holes and strippers to his house. And, and no disrespect to the strippers. I love the strippers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do y'all thing, make y'all money. But, you know, he brought some thoughts with him, too. Um, you know, over to the house. They up here busting the wild open the table and the window on the floor everywhere, shaking all types of ass and stuff. And here his child, a young child, walking around the house with all this happening, okay? So while this is happening... Um, he follows his, he follows the child into the pantry. Now, this is a big old pantry, and, it, well, there's food in there, but if this man is so rich like he said he would, he would have that place stocked, but I guess he's feeding his thoughts and holes and tricks and strippers all the child snacks instead of feeding his own child. So his child's in there, he's in there looking for, um, for some snacks to eat, Okay. So then Blueface goes in there. He's like, are you gay? And I'm just listening to this like, what? So he asked him, are you gay? And his son looked at him like, what? It's, it's A child don't know what that means yet. Doesn't know what that means. Like, come on now. But anyway, ask the child, is he gay? Because he's not in the room with the other strippers and whatnot and thoughts and things of that nature, which was just, it's ridiculous. Like he's just, just running his mouth saying that. And I think it's just disgusting that you would even open your mouth and say that. Now, I want you to listen to something that um, that T.S. Madison said. And boy, when she was saying this, I was getting my life clapping. You heard me? So let me tell you what T.S. Madison said. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all hear it. The six-year-old son that she gave because it was women's outside. And the son was in there doing what a six-year-old does when there's when the parents not looking, going in the motherfucking pantry, pantry to get candies and cookies because they don't know nothing about no forty-seven-year, fifty-nine-year-old bitches clapping their ass up outside. So again, when I have these conversations about where are all the drag queens, you niggas don't got you niggas in that era that we talking about. What what about the children? You niggas need, y'all children need to be protected from y'all. That's right. It be y'all that the kids need protected from because the kids learn how to be what they gonna be from the house. Mm. Fuck the TV. Mm. Fuck the school. I don't remember half the shit them bitches told me in school. <laughs> but I know what my mama said when I got home with better be, I remember that. So... The shit that these kids learn starts in the home. So a lot of you that want the kids to be protected from the fags and the punks and the sisters and the dykes and all the other shit that that y'all can't stand and you're going out there voting against yourself with those bills that these motherfucking politicians is running on because that's their campaign they're running on, you niggas, they need to be protected from you niggas. Because any grown-ass man that want a six-year-old boy to be outside looking at some strippers bent over and they pussy hanging out. And worried about them if they gay or do they want some potato chips. You all, you have stolen these children. You motherfuckers have stolen these children's innocence from them. You've stolen their innocence from them. You've taken their right to be children from them because you are trying to project the way that you feel and what you are on top of those kids. It's the same, it's the same shit that I say about Boosie when they told me that Boosie was down there with them 12, 11, 13 year old boys and they get sucked by stripper hoes who need to be sucking stripper niggas or, 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 or niggas in their age bracket. I don't get how 
how you can sit up and you can say that you understand, you can't understand how a kid can be a, a can say that they're trans on the inside, or a kid like, or oh, I'm, I think I'm, I'm not the same. You, you can't understand, but you groom them. You groom the, you the groomers. You groom them to be pimps. Womanizers, players, drug dealers, you groom them to do these things. Gangsters, don't know about that. Hyper masculine, future woman abusers. This starts in your home, and you you stand on your soapbox and you play. I don't want my kids looking at no no cartoon that got no men's kissing in it. Those people don't even know them men. Them kids don't know them fucking men's kids. They know it's cartoons kissing each other. Now I do think in a certain areas and certain shit keep that they don't need to kiss. They can they can hold hands and they can be friends. You can explain it as the time go on. Y'all heard that Miss T. S. Madison was out here telling the truth, and she is. It is the truth. Blue, uh, yeah, the men yes. like Blueface out here is they grooming these kids to be this stuff, and they projecting just like Boozy and what he did with his child. So she told yeah, me, she told I the truth. Go all night with that. I can go yeah. all night with that. Yeah. So you know, T. S. T. S. Madison summed it up, and it's the truth. It's it's the truth. People like Blueface, they just project and they do that. Let me tell you something before we go into the next subject. Blueface is a lost cause. That man is gonna be the demise of his own self because not only does he has a he he's just a toxic person, but his whole family is just toxic, and they just trauma dumping all over each other. And this poor child, Lord have mercy, I just pray that the cycle just breaks with him. It, 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 if it just keeps going because he sees his what his daddy does, oh Lord, just just help the child. But yeah, it, it's a sad situation. But it's just not Blueface that's doing this to his child. It's other parents that does it out there. And I pray for these children. Do right by your kids. You, they're a reflection of you. Do better by your children, man. Don't be out here acting a fool like this in front of your kids. These children don't know better. These children don't know better. They just want to be happy, you know what I'm saying? And they just want to just, just you know, have fun and you just go around and do this type of stuff. You just mess up a child's mind. So we're we gonna go on to the, to the next subject. So Lord Jesus, um, Asian doll, she just she she just she keeps opening her mouth, saying that um that she was the inventor of black um alternative. Um, the black alt style, you know what I'm saying? So this is what she says. Diamonds on the face, I started that. Started that. Psst, girl, not. No, you didn't. Crazy eye makeup, I started that. Skirts and platforms was my signature look, literally, so stop the she started that. I was the first black female endorsed by Dolls Kill. I started the Dolls, Dolls Kill way for all the black girls, and that's facts. I, um, I'm just like, Oh my goodness. And so then she's like, Asian, this other girl's like, Asian started the schoolgirl walk outlook for girls in the rap because I don't care the big boots, mini skirts, colorful hair, face jewels, everything. She was doing it. And y'all clown her, even some of her peers, just for those same peers to now dress like that so they can impress their gay best friends. Like, that, that's just so, so homophobic. Her, her followers are just homophobic and stupid anyway. So she says, this is not even half or the real tea, but I ain't gonna say much at all. I like I said, this Asian doll style has been mine. Give me a damn who said what facts is facts. Y'all be influenced by someone. Asian doll expired. Be for real for an Asian doll. Put them diamonds on your face. Oh my goodness. And you know, it, it goes on. So Amaretta was like, I don't know, man, this whole talk with female rappers about selling aesthetics just maybe want to give Rico Nasty her flowers um she's not gonna say anything cause it's not aesthetic for her but it's an actual lifestyle it's not just an error for her it's who she is she inspired my fashion that I have today nobody give Rico her flowers but I know for sure a lot of girls get inspired from her 
that girl for real true off black girls really had to go through a lot because people look down on it now it's mainstream look and everybody want to claim it Give credit to the girls that do this shit for real, not just for a look. So then Asian Dog gets mad. She says, I'm already, you dress like my old swag. You just don't want to admit it, girl. Bye. Rico wasn't wearing diamonds um, on her face. I started this shit and stopped, stopped and y'all ran with it. Be for real. I'm already said, I'm not finna argue with y'all. <laughs> and here she comes back saying, and then I'm was like, Girl, you've been wanting to say this for a long. I've never in my life used one of your picks for inspiration. When you dressed like that back in 2016, 18, I was wearing hood fits. I started dressing rock star in 2020. What do you think I went to pull up some throwback picks of you for inspo? So then more of her followers kept coming around her. And they was like um, trying to come at her and shit like that. And Rico was, not Rico, but, you know, Amaretta was standing on her own. You know, Amaretta, you know, she, she, she from the A. She ain't gonna let nobody just come run at her like that. And so, uh, Asian Brat's like, I thought I should put my name on it. And Amaretta said, you care really bad. And then, and then Asian Dog was like, I never gave a fuck. And Amaretta said, Asian, I promise I do not give a fuck. And then Asian Doll was like, if I wanted to say something, I would say it like I just now, I just did now. You just guilty and was waiting on me to say something. But Asian is no hater. You just going to do it a lot of um, clit eating for no reason on IG post. Oh, goodness. That mute oh, and deleted God. what I said under your post. So I said someone. And then I'm a red I'm real like, why you get your fr- your fans coming up here talking shit for me? So, um, she said, you on social media with that, so where you got to address this? Because you a weirdo, and she spirit weirdo wrong. Always talking to me and shady to motherfuckers that, that, that's all you do. I did a song with you, supported you, all that. I can never be a hater over a style. Don't make it like I'm the problem. You put yourself in this shit. Nobody even thought of you when this, who started this shit conversation. Come up like last year, you tried to start some shit knowing we cool and all Cause somebody said you dress like Asian doll. You replied to no the fuck I don't. I said LOL and you did me this girl by you messy as fuck and we could do whatever honestly. Oh my god. And Amara said I just called you didn't answer. Stop writing me bro. And then she said you messy and weird. It's spelled weird. W E R I D. Oh my lord. Asian doll. Not the queen of messy calling someone messy. The jokes write themselves. Thank you Amaretta. So there we go. First and foremost um, you, Asian doll didn't start shit. Black girls been dressing like this since MySpace days or the early nineties, um, late nineties, early two thousand. So what the what is she talking about? And plus the whole diamonds on the face, like girl, did you forget about Josephine Baker? She used to wear diamonds on her face. So right, you didn't start nothing either with that. You know, Asian doll seems like that type of good, type of person that that she's just struggling with her with her fashion taste and fashion choices but it tries so hard to keep up with fashion trends that she's completely behind on she look like she lived in Korea cause since she so behind with fashion and shit I'm like you might as well go back with them then since they behind with the trends that's how right. she's so well, behind with can- with Asian Doll, she's still trying so hard to be like in that old school Harajuku style. And it's just like, girl, nobody it's... dresses like that anymore. Not even the real Harajuku girls. Right. right. They, move pa- they, they move past that. Exactly. So I'm like, ma'am, like, what, what you doing, girl? Like, what exactly are you doing? This, this ain't the move. She always saying she started something. No, you didn't. You didn't start this. We've been, black girls been dressing like this since MySpace days. You're not the one that started this, ma'am. You're not the one that started this. So please stop capping. Like, I'm tired of her. Oh my goodness. Her sense of style is trash. She can't dress anyway. She cannot dress. Y'all, she had this lady design a dress for her. Okay, and she completely screwed the lady over. Tried to lie on the lady on social media. 
because she didn't have the money for the dress to pay for it. That's what the problem was. She didn't want to pay the lady. Mm. And the receipts came out. And the lady that made her made the dress was telling the truth. And she never to this day apologized to that lady for that dress. Like, Asian dog, can you stop? Can you just stop for a minute and just look, look, look at the shit that you say? And on top of that, I would never sit up here and, and just and be excited about saying, oh, I was the first black girl to be signed on to dog skills and stuff like that. No, 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 no. That's nothing to be proud of, okay? You you can't do that. You, you can't be proud of that at all. They were openly racist during the Black Lives Matter movement, okay? They, they steal designs from independent artists. And TW, trigger warning, they glamorize rape culture. And they romantic and they romanticize mental mental illness. Like you can't do that. That's not good. Like that's a horrible thing to do. But, you know, also, and that ain't nothing to brag about either. You know this stuff, Asian doll. Like you, you making fun of things like that. They had a shirt that says "Dead girls can't say no." Like, what the hell kind of shit is that? A cut yeah. above the rest? A cut above the rest? That What? Social anxiety smells like a list of pre-planned excuses. That is not funny. That is, that's that's not funny. Those things are not funny. And and I, I don't like that stuff. And you, 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 you sit up here and you're proud of that? Girl, stop. People... Black girls been wearing this for a minute. You did not invent this at all. Never have. You don't even dress like this at all. What are you even talking? If you claim that this is, was you invented this style, why aren't you dressing like this all the time? Rico Nasty dresses like this twenty four seven. This is her lifestyle. This is how she dressed. Amaretta, she's a hood girl from Atlanta. She dresses like this all the time. How come you don't dress like this? Hmm. You did it for a trend. You didn't start it. Oh my goodness, every time she opens her mouth, it's something different. Yeah, it's just like, is she not talking about Vaughn? She talking about some nonsense. Mm -hmm. And it's been a while since she talked about Vaughn, thank God. Well, you know, there was that documentary about Vaughn being this like killer and stuff like that. And she got all mad about it. I'm like, Asian doll. This man lived in like the most dangerous part of Chicago, bruh. Come on. Hey, girl, you sit in here telling me he didn't kill nobody. And then you say you don't want a nigga that hasn't gotten a few bodies so girl. What you mad for? Right! Like, <laughs> you sound like a hypocrite. You sound like a big old hypocrite. I'm like, girl, you done. This girl's weird, y'all. Like, you, you can't say one thing and then go to the next. Girl, you know the dude was out here murking people. He was the girl, look where he from. So many of so many people, like rappers like that in Chicago, have I hate to say it, is on a t-shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a way, Chief Keep almost ended up on one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he sur he has survived so far. Yeah. Who else? Oh, Ben, not Ben Stables, but uh, Vic Menza. He had to move away from that. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up the Chicago rappers because there's a lot. Lord Jesus, they oh, 207. Push a T. Push. Oh yeah, push a T. Lord, y'all. This. I don't even want. I don't even want to count Kanye no more. That nigga's so deep in the sunken place, mm -hmm. man. So this is okay. This is the these now these are the young rappers in Chicago that have passed. These there's is like there's a whole list. Gun violence has killed at least one rapper every every year since two thousand eight. This is this is crazy. This one rapper and oh my god and. 2021 got KTS Dre. This man 
he got he was released after released after released from jail and was killed. This man was got shot sixty four times. How did you survive that? No, no, no. Exactly. He got killed. No, no. I'm saying after he oh, re released from jail, oh. I said it all wrong. I apologize. After he was oh. released from jail, they shot this man, killed him, like they shot him sixty four times. Like, oh my goodness. He was coming mm. out of jail and they shot him. Mm. Yeah, he was like, we was waiting for you at the door. Show sure was. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm looking at this list. There's so many rappers that have just in Chicago that have gotten killed. Like, just just so many. So many. Drill rap there's mostly the drill rappers that have gotten killed. And this it's it's so many out there. There's Oh, this list is crazy. So we got, this is the list you, you got. Oh my God. So I'm looking at, um, Lil Dirk. Oh my goodness. He's still alive. Well, he's nervous looking still. Right. I don't understand why. You know, when he's from Chicago, that's why he was nervous all the time. I'd be nervous too. <laughs> so we got. I'm looking at this list, and we got this one one rapper. Um, so this one rapper, Ot New New, he was the cousin of Lil Dirt. He got shot while sitting in his car. Lil Jojo, he's a young 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 man. He was on just on the, on the back of his friend's bike. J Lau killed on Christmas night. Mm. Wearing the hoodie of his homeboy, little Jojo, that I just read, who died, got killed. Lord Jesus, Johnny Boy the Prince. Lord have Johnny, Johnny, Chicago. He don't need to go back to Chicago. This oh, is no. oh, oh, no. oh my oh, goodness. What? Stay in the suburbs versus stay wait, in the suburbs, wait, Johnny. If wait, you gonna wait, go stay wait. in the suburbs, stay in the I, suburbs, I, honey, because you. Wait, are you talking about? My man Johnny. Girl, this man named this rapper that passed away. His name was Johnny the Boy Prince. Oh, I'm about to say. But his I'm name was like... Johnny Taylor though. So Johnny, you you just you gotta stay it. You gotta stay on the other side of the fence. Yeah. Girl. Oh my God. You don't want to go up. You don't want to go to the hood side of Chicago. Then there's this other one, other young man. He got he passed away, uh, on Mother's Day. Oh Lord, at a party. Um oh my goodness. This is this is sad. This was sad. This there's so many young men. I'm just reading this list. There's so many young men. And this one guy got shot. He wasn't even the intended target. Oh my. Uh oh. mistaken identity. Oh, that's the worst. Wow. And then you got this one young man. He basically, you know, beef, beefs, beefs. This man, this this young man was only seventeen, over some beefs and rap. I'm just reading it. Is it they're all over beef? Mm. All over beef. This one guy who's Chief Keith cousin. Oh, uh -oh not the cousin. No, not yeah, the, the cousin. cousin but... Twenty four times. That's twenty. Four oh my goodness! Times. Mm -hmm. Still, still don't be sixty-four. Like good gracious, I will think you were ran out of bullets by then. Sixty-four. This is sad, ma'am. I don't know why drill rap, drill, drill rap up there. Like it gets so dangerous up there. Like what? What's going on? Like just. <sighs> For them, it's a way of life. It ain't just rap. It's a way of life. I guess. So. And that's sad, though. That's sad. But that young man was like six, six, 17. There's people that are younger, younger, younger than that. I was watching a documentary about this stuff. And, oh, my goodness. It was King Vaughn was actually talking about just the life that happens in like the projects in Chicago and like a couple of days after that he got shot 
there who was that dude babe he's sleep he's sleep there's this guy i forgot that white dude name now i don't know if anybody knows him but this dude he does these interviews with these chicago rappers and for some reason every time he does these interviews these dudes they always get shot and killed I don't know. Y'all, it's like it ain't Vlad, is it? It's like he's like Vlad. I forgot that white dude's name, but he interviews these I don't know if it's Vlad. It's another guy that does the interviews with these dudes. It's not Adam 22. It can't be Adam 22. It's this other guy that does these interviews. I know I, I can't think of his name, but every time he does it's like a jinx and somebody ends up getting shot or killed. I forgot who this guy's name is. I know he's a white dude. That's all I know. That's all I know. But yeah, man, this is this is crazy. And then I watched the documentary and I'm like, what did this man have like a secret double life? What was he doing on these streets? Hmm. This man that was out here like the Terminator. Like what what was really going on? But this is Asian Doll's man. And getting upset that they told the truth on him. That he was out here shooting and killing people. That's why it's, and it's sad, like, you know, R.I.P. to him. This is why he ended up where he ended up at. Like, cause wasn't he, the way he got killed, didn't he, wasn't he in the car going down the road? No, he was outside. He was outside and they just shot him. It was, it looked like it was like a fight or something. Then someone just pulled out a gun and shot him. That's just, it's just, it's just sad, man. Like, that man was out, you, you, these drill, well, the rap beef is just crazy, man. This rap beef is crazy. Like, it, it, it shouldn't get to the point where you rapping and then you say something about somebody and it gets you to the point where you just want to go out here and, and hurt somebody. It, it should never be like that. It shouldn't be like that. That's just too much, you know, but, you know, some people just can't ignore stuff and just be like, just just walk away from it but if you know this is not about you be like look you, you know look you know this ain't about me i can take you to court and whatnot but people don't want to do that they just want to go hurt somebody and shoot them up it's it's just it's messed up it's really messed up oh my goodness but that's her that's her man that's her man girl and then she was you know i'm not gonna like sit up here and like you know discredit her grief because you know they were close and stuff and you know that's something that's very hard to to go through, and, and it's sad. And she was upset for a while, but people were telling her, "Sis, you you dragging this like on." Yeah, like it ain't like he was innocent, right? Mm -hmm. Like we understand you, you upset, sis, but girl, you you don't 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 get on Twitter with this. You need to take some time to heal off off of social media. Cause what you're doing right now is just way too much and just make you looking like you're doing more than you should. Cause there's this saying, the person that does that cries the most at a person's funeral is a person that basically didn't do shit or is just doing the most basically. And that's what it seemed like she was doing. Well, cause even when they, he died, they weren't together. So right. just like the fact that she just always talking about Vaughn this and Vaughn that y'all were broken up before. You know, before he died, so you're right. Like, well, like, I understand you upset. I mean, that's fine, but you're doing the most. We get it. Stop. It's weird. <laughs> you, 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 attention seeking type shit, basically. Yeah, basically, going around calling herself Queen Vaughn. Like, how attention seeking is that? Come on. Now. Remember the tattoo? Yeah. Mm hmm. I was like, you, she doing, I was like, this girl's doing way too much now. Like, we, we get it, we get it. And she act like she was the only girl that, that, that King Vaughn was dating. I was like, girl, this nigga was dating a whole bunch of people. You weren't the only one. Exactly. He has how many baby mamas? Exactly. Right. And she didn't, she didn't even have no babies with this man. I'm like, girl, like, you well, need to. She claims allegedly she claims that she was pregnant for him but she had a miscarriage allegedly Again, what I don't believe that I you don't know, believe what? that I don't believe that I don't believe that See, what no no mm -hmm. I, I want to see a doctor's note I don't believe oh, that 
Ma'am, no. I don't believe that. Uh, doctors, you know. I don't believe her. Because she be lying she be lying so much, man. Like she be lying so much. I'm like, what? I do I know she has a son, but I don't know about who, but I'm just like, you know you did girls. You better stop lying. Tell truth. Oh my goodness. And even even after they broke up, he wasn't even claiming her with her like that. So exactly. So like, girl, what is you going on about, y'all? I can't. The do- oh god, she's such a hypocrite. She needs some attention. Like out of all the dolls, she's the one that gets on my nerves the most. <laughs> she gets but she's the one out of the dolls that just cannot stop talking. All the other dolls are quiet. It, she, it, it's just her. It's like she's the Kanye West of all the dolls. I'm like, can you shut up? Can you? And I know they don't. They probably don't even like her. They don't. She said, yeah, yeah. Let me say, you know what? Fuck that. She has gotten into it with the dolls at one point. Yeah, she had an Alpha Cuban doll for the longest. What's what was the beef between them? Man, it was so long ago I can't even remember. All I know is it was going on for years. It was mainly on Asian side. Uh, Let me look this up because I hold on. Let me look this up. Oh my god, this girl is just always in some shit. <laughs> She's always in and some then, shit. Yeah, she also had beef with Rico Nasty for whatever reason. Because I remember they got into a fight. And none of them can fight, but um, they got into a fight, and yeah. That's why she got mad at Amaretto about that, you know, while Amaretto giving Rico Nasty her flowers. I'm like, you're mad at her for doing that? Rico Rico Nasty not even acknowledge her at this moment. But, um... I thought she should. Let's see. So they had I mean, a five if year beef. Have a song, yeah, five years. I know it went on for a very long time. I know that much. They ended it last year, so they're now friends. What? Yeah. What's this year? Yeah, two thousand. It was twenty twenty two. So I don't know. It was like. Uh... So like, we're on what two thousand seventeen? It started. Yeah. Okay, so they got they got into a fight at a club, leading the Asian doll being Mace. <laughs> what? What? Child. Okay, so all right, so y'all know Cuban doll mama died, right? And so. Asian doll was sitting up here mocking Cuban doll's death. Oh my good! I would girl be mad too. Oh my! No wonder she was upset, child. This is some. This is ghetto. This is this is yeah. that's ghetto. Now now see it makes sense. Lord have mercy. See, something wrong with her. Something's wrong with her. Something wrong with Asian doll. I, I bet you go and type a, the beef Asian doll beef when you see what pops up. Yeah, I know she also had a beef with this girl named Bally Babies for whatever reason. For, for what? what? I just know they got into a fight too. Like, none of these girls can fight. Like, all the fight videos I saw of all of them, like, none of them can fight. But yet, y'all be on this tough girl act. <laughs> like, y'all need to get some hands. The Asian doll can't fight. She can't fight. The Asian doll can't fight. Rico Nasty can't fight from the looks of that video that I saw. Like, neither one of them could fight. I'm sorry. Oh, Rico. I, 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 love, I love me some Rico, but she could not fight. I, I, you know what? I'll pull up the video oh. because, no. Oh, let's see. I remember that fight, Asian and I was doll. looking at them fighting. I'm like, what are y'all doing? Oh, you doing? remember? I'm like, neither yeah. one of them could fight. It's like they were pretty much like, Hand slapping at that point, like we just play fight. That's all they were doing. I'm like, what are y'all doing? Y'all need to throw some hands. A bunch of aggressive patty cake. That's what it was. Yeah. (laughs) Shit, I'm trying to see some. You know what I'm saying? See some bitches like fight each other and snatch it. Yeah, I'm trying to see some snatching wigs and shit. And I'm. This is all I get. I'm like, child, this is boring. 
Girls Gregory. Girls like it was like two kids at the playground fighting over fighting over to like get it back, mommy. I'm like, man, what kind of lame shit is this? Y'all supposed to be fighting like y'all the the kids at the school fight better than this shit. <laughs> if you gonna fight, fight, do it right. Hit her like hit her like old girl hit Cardi B at the at the. <laughs> <laughs> and the Met Gala, uh, Cardi B walked out with that big ass knot on her head. Fight like that, <laughs> girl. And child, the word knot was trending on Twitter, and Instagram. <laughs> girl, y'all see that knot that was on top of her head? I said, "Damn, damn, that thing was huge." I was like, "Why you going you you doing all that shit on Love and Hip Hop New York? You got hit like that, ma'am." Come on now. Um, what is it? Uh, what's her name? Oh, I forgot her name. Sky from a uh, Black Ink. She can't fight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she no can't fight. There's a video of her. She was, she was somewhere. She got jumped and she tried to fight. She just couldn't do it. She just, she, she, it was. She just sat there and just took took the ass whooping. Basically, and I was like, that's what you get. Asian dog be all right. She'll find something next month to say that she invented when she didn't do it. I believe, yeah. I believe that this girl basically, she know she just be on a, um, she just be on like a, I don't know what crack bins or something, and then she just slip her a good line and get online and just be like, I did this today. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, okay, sis, you just do you, I guess, basically. Like we know you didn't invent that. We know you didn't. Black girls been dressing like that for years. Next week, next week she could be like, "I invented box braids." Oh my goodness! Make it stop! Make it stop! Please. I, I invented box braids. I did that. And if anybody got a problem with it, come to me. Meet me outside. And I'm just like, okay, sis, you invented box braids. We get it. No, you, no, you didn't. No, you didn't, sis. Just stop. Please stop. Or she'll be like, come. Box braids have been in for centuries. She she gonna what say that she gonna put it. She put it on the map. <laughs> no, cause it, that shit been around for centuries, but no one heard. She she you can't you can't tell her nothing. Or she be like this week. She'll be like, everybody, <laughs> I've been in acrylic nails. <laughs> Look at me. Look, it's me. I'm cute. No, you didn't, child. You didn't do anything. Stop you lying. You know, she do. She do belong in Korea. She just. She she could be a K-pop idol trying to keep up with long gone trends. For all I care. I think like the thing about her that is just hilarious. I'm like, you randomly say this stuff out of nowhere and then when somebody say something back you get mad and I'm like you can't get mad you put it out there so so basically all bark but no bite basically you mm-hmm. put this out there you you always put it out there that's why I just get irritated at these like these celebrities and their social media because they go to social media and tell all their business and then after they get through telling their business they get mad at everybody for putting in their two cents but I'm just like but you put your business out there you can't get mad you the one that put the business out here nobody didn't tell you to do that you did that like you know these celebrities talking about I don't give my kids baths just one day a week why would you say that out loud for everybody to judge you by? Yeah, get your behind dragged and then at the same time tell people to mind their business to keep your business off the damn internet then. Exactly. Right. And nobody came and told you to say this about your child, embarrassing your child. So now, now, and you know the way it is with social media these days, children have more access to it. 
So you telling me that your child only get a bath once a week and then they child your child finds out about it by other kids and they like Mom and daddy told my business like everybody outside telling me I stink now because your dumb ass parents decided to go run their mouth and call you stinking. You can't do that. You can't get mad. You put it out there. You put it out there for everybody to see your business. So everybody has a right to their opinion and everybody has a right to voice it. Especially when all these white people years ago was talking about they don't wash their legs on the internet. Why would you sit up here and say you don't wash your legs? In the shower. Why would you say that? I don't wash my legs when I get out the shower. Or when I'm in the shower. Or my feet. Because when I'm in the shower, the one I'm, and the, my feet will already be clean because I'm in the shower. That's not how it works. <laughs> you got to wash your feet while you're in the shower. Just because you're in the shower, you just... The concept... I, just, and you, I don't wash my legs either because... I'll be all right without washing my legs because I'm in the shower. And the water's hit my legs, so my feet are my my feet and everything is already clean. No, 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 it's not. No, wash your legs. Please do that, cause that's what Taylor Swift said. Remember Taylor Swift said she don't wash her legs when she get in the shower. Everybody was calling her oh dirty God, legs. God, that was a atrocious. I was just like, "Ooh, girl, why would you? Why would you say that? Why would you air that out to the internet? We didn't need to know that." So now y'all know y'all good old Swifty out here is up here just running around with stinking legs. You go in that shower, you wash everything from the rooty to the tootie. <laughs> right, even in the smallest <laughs> tight tight crevices. Right, I wash everywhere, and I go back again. And it's hot too, and sweaty. Yeah, ain't nobody got time to be stinking in the heat now. Right, smelling like all types of I don't give a damn. I don't want to smell like that. I ride public transportation. During the right. week to go where I need to go, and child, oh my goodness! <laughs> the stuff, the pants, the pants. The, who the girl? Ah, oh Jesus, Lord Jesus! Pits, feet, everything. Some people don't need to be wear sandals during the summer. Just, just please don't. <laughs> Child, somebody was wearing some sandals, and it, it just, it, it was crazy because everybody just seen it. They it, they had no choice to look. Child, the feet was just ashy. They were so ashy, I thought they was the same color as, as the flip-flops they had on. Oh, no. Why are you ashy in the summertime? That's that's a special type of ash. <laughs> oh, God. See, this is where, this is where we, this calls for a big, Ga a ga like a gallon, not a quart, a gallon of cocoa butter. It need to be the good cocoa butter too, cause child, yeah. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I seen them feet and I looked down and I said, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to, I had, I was so glad to have my yeah. headphones on, cause I heard people was laughing. I'm like, why are people laughing? What happened? I took my headphones off and I looked down. And I said, oh. Oh my god. You That's wanted why. your time back, didn't you? I just I had I wanted to laugh. I just like they got polar bear feet. <laughs> they did. They did. And were there were they a crackhead? Oh were they a crackhead? Of course there was a crackhead. And I was like, Oh wow. <laughs> we got Ash and Live Entertainment today. Here we go. <laughs> Child, his knuckle was ashy. It was legit ash. It was just ashy. He was happy about it too. He was so happy. He had his little had his phone playing his music out loud and stuff like that. And he lady came on the train. She she had nowhere to sit, so she just stood beside him. And he was like, "You just beautiful." And she said, "Thank you." You know, what I'm saying she was a nice lady. He was like, "You see my sandals? I just got them today. What you think of them?" She's like, "Oh." They're nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> she was a nice lady. But then when she got off, the sister got on the train and he tried to do the same thing to her and she was like, 
She said, man, you gonna take your ashy ass away from me? I was like, well, that didn't go well. <laughs> it was a complete opposite um, reaction that he thought he would get. So, you know, if y'all planning on wearing um, sandals out here this summer, y'all just make sure to go ahead and, like, lotion your feet down, cocoa butter, oil. Don't Please don't go out here like that. I don't want nobody picking on you and being like, ooh, look, 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 it's Ashy Larry. You know, we don't want nobody. We don't want Ashy Larrys out here. Oh, God. Okay. We don't want that. We want everybody to be nice, nice and moisturized. When they go out, that's why I make sure the whole family is moisturized when they go out. Make sure you wear sunscreen, man. Just because we black and we got melanin don't mean shit. Please. Yeah. Please. Wear sunscreen, use SPF too. Please, because it's hot out here. And I don't want y'all going out here, you know, dehydrated and drying up in the sun and shit. It's just too damn hot for no reason. I too hot. Like, just, oh my goodness. This is like, whew, last, last summer... It's hot, but it wasn't like this. Yeah. It was tolerable. This right here is just on a no, whole nother level of just, I don't even, it's just ridiculous at this point. And y'all, I got on the train and somebody left a whole lunch on the train and I said I know they sad I know they upset about this yeah cause they ain't gonna be there somebody gonna eat it. yeah yeah crackhead eat it they'll 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 yeah. find it and eat it they'll be like that's my lunch or dinner for today and I gave this homeless dude a dollar I just like just I just I, I had a dollar in my pocket I was just here and I already know what you're gonna do and just take it <laughs> I was just like, just, just to get him out the other people's faces and my face. I'm like, here, take this dollar, honey. God bless you. God <laughs> bless you. And he went to the other car, and they were like, thank you. I'm like, you will. Because <laughs> he was like, I need I need something. I need something. I'm like, let's just go ahead and get this over with right now. It be like that. It be like that. There's people yeah. that will actually give money to the homeless people so they can get out their face. Be like, yeah. can you just please leave me alone so you just go away? And I'll be like, let me just give the money to somebody, to him. And then the other day, it was that Friday, Saturday. It was that Saturday at work, uh, coming home from work. There was a drunk dude. And these drunk dudes, it's like, how do you get drunk at 3 o'clock in the day? That's I can't do that. That's just crazy. But he's drunk, yelling, yelling at these girls. And these girls slapped shit out of him and said, look, your drunk ass needs to stop messing with women on the train while they minding their business. She slapped him so hard, change came out of his pocket. <laughs> like Sonic <laughs> Rings. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> oh Lord. And he got up and we all, I laughed. I, I sure did laugh. Uh, he looked at me. I said, yeah, I laughed. I was, <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> I laughed. We all laughed. He got off that train and he was ashamed. He put his head down. You, you These men is going to get enough messing with women. Messing with women on the train. All we're doing is minding our business. All that drunk hollering and yelling at people don't make no sense. It's stupid and it's dumb. Now, when she if she would have sprayed him in his face with some mace, he was like, help me, help me. Nobody would have helped him. Nobody would have helped him. They would have sat, left him on the ground, and he would have been sitting there, and nobody would have helped him at all. It makes no sense. Like, you get on the train, and you're this drunk during the day. During the day? I see men that get on the train, y'all, that are drunk. They have like in the morning. I leave I leave the house around six something on the train by seven. And these pe they just on the train drunk. Drunk. Like they have beer in their hands drinking it. Mm. That early. Why would you get up that early drunk drunk like that? But there's functioning alcoholics. They do this every day. That's sad. Yeah. Mm. 
and their breath be stinking. Like, it just come up to you, breath is just hot for no reason. And they come up to you talking about how you doing. I'm just like, your breath, your breath should not, your breath should not be like this at all. Don't make no sense. There's crackheads in the country too, y'all. Don't let them don't Man. let them say that. Yeah. There's crackheads that live in the country. They're just a little bit more bitter at it at anything. They'll come to your house and be like, Can I sit up here and cut your grass for a rock? <laughs> oh god. Well, at least they're useful. Yeah, there there's a crackhead that lives in my mama's neighborhood. My mama lives in the country. She lives all the way out there in the country. And so she said crackheads is out there all the time. And all they want to do is cut grass, and you pay them like five dollars, and they go out and they buy their rocks. They'll cut the grass. They they'll cut. They cut. They cut the grass real nice, clean the gutters and everything. My mom's like, "Well, I'll let them cut the grass, but I won't let them wash the car." I said, "Why?" She said, "One time, the woman next door let that man cut her grass. She don't know how he did it. She turned around. That man stole all four of her tires off the car. I was." <laughs> Like how did he? Oh, God. She said, oh, "How damn. he?" She said, "How she do it so fast?" My mama said, "Do you know how fast crackheads are?" She said, "You not, you're not about to catch no crackhead. They're fast yeah. and and they're strong. This is what they do. So you you're not catching nobody, honey, at all." Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Let me see. Let me go back to the um just go back to the shade room. See if they posted anything else about Asian doll. She's probably came down on her booms by now. Let me stop saying that about that girl. Let's see. Oh, Jamie Foxx is doing better. Okay. So, okay, so. Yeah, he was on a yeah, boat so I'm, yeah. I'm glad he's doing okay. I was worried about him. I'm like, ooh, we can't lose him, honey. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, because, look, I, I, I grew up watching him, and one of my favorite characters was LaWanda Page from A Living Color. She had, y'all know LaWanda, she had the blonde hair, she had the cross eye. <laughs> LaWanda, LaWanda, remember LaWanda was in a group with In Vogue and she got kicked out and oh, she was singing yeah, along and she was like, yes. never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. I'm like LaWanda, she was funny. And on the Jamie Foxx show, you know, like I, I was like, please let him be all right. That man was probably overworked. Yeah, cause that man is always running around busy all the time. So I'm I'm glad he's better. But it good news, good news. Let me tell y'all what happened. So y'all know the mess that happened with Kiki Palmer, and um that man that impregnated her. Um, you know he was. You're a mother. You're a mother. You're a mother. Well, she is a mother, and I'm glad you acknowledge that, and I'm glad that you acknowledge now that. You are no longer in her presence, <laughs> and she dumped your ass. Thank you, Kiki. You did yeah. the right thing, girl. You did the right thing, girl. You did the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was with somebody, and he, you know what I'm saying, basically was sitting up here saying all these bad things about you and all that stuff, and, you know, you look cute. It wasn't like mm -hmm. you was out here, and your nipples and titties were showing, and your, and your coochie was showing. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just, just stop, stop. Mm -hmm. Just say that you were, you felt insecure about yourself because another man was singing to her. Just say you felt bad about it. Just say you felt bad about it. But it's fine now. You're not gonna get any more allowance. 
She took away your Netflix password. On um, yeah, you're gonna be just mm-hmm. fine, little boy. You're gonna be just fine. He'll be all right. He will be yeah. just fine. She didn't need him no way. She's doing good by herself. She's happy. She loves her son. Her son loves her. You know, she's a good mom, and uh, he's just he's mad about it. And then you know you got the people out there like, oh, she shouldn't have did that. She shouldn't have wore that. And you know she need to respect her husband and stuff like that. Well, she, they're she not together. Married. Right. Like, they're not together. What the fuck are you talking about? They're not together. She's not obligated to do anything for this man. Men like him um, that are not married want to have the married experience. They want to have the experience of having a wife and telling a wife what to do and stuff like that. But they don't want to go to the courthouse and sign the papers to get married. They At this point, they were just basically roommates. That's all they were. Yeah. They're just roommates. And basically, he was the father of her child, and that was it. Nothing else. And um, unfortunately, um, he's mad, got mad in his feelings, and here we are. He'll be okay. He will just, he will just, he'll, he'll be just fine. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I hope he don't use that child against her, because you know how niggas are. Mm-hmm. You know, you right, you right about that. But I, you know, she's got a good team behind her, and oh, yeah. you know, that she'll be fine. And he's just gonna have to learn just to get a job and pay his bills on his own. Oh, yeah. And take and he need to take care of his child. And that's all he needs to do. That he should be doing. Because at this point, ain't nobody trying to fuck with him no more. Well, they wouldn't mm-hmm. fuck on him no way. He was just known. He was just known as Kiki's boyfriend, basically. That was it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And nothing else. That's why he probably was mad. Because look look at her. After she had the baby, she was already gorgeous. But then she had that baby girl, like she was just like like legs and hips and body, body, body. basically. <laughs> that was her. And I guess she he didn't like that. He felt the way about that, honey. Now look at him. He's he's alone. He can't touch that body anymore. What's wrong, what's wrong with him? <laughs> he gonna be touching that lotion bottle. <laughs> Lubriderm. Jacket it off. That's what he gonna be doing. He know what he gonna be doing. Alone in his room. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh, boy, girl. I'm about to say some more stuff. Let me stop before I get my shit demonetized. Let me stop. Let me shh. Let me hush. Let me hush. That's what he's going to be doing. By himself. All to his lonesome. By himself. He'll be all right. He'll be okay. Kiki, take care of your child. And keep doing what you're doing. You've been taking care of that baby. You've been doing the right thing. And that's all that matters at this point. You don't need him, and you better off without him. He'll be just fine. Yeah. He'll be just fine. Men like that, they don't know their self-worth. And like I said, he wants the benefits of the marriage, but he actually doesn't want to put the effort in into being married or wanting to be married. So don't worry about him, girl. You go be just fine. Do you keep continuing to do you? Keep continuing to take care of that baby and be blessed. And that's it. Mm-hmm. See, Ooh, it's ten forty three. We can get off here for tonight. What y'all want to talk about Wednesday night? Hmm. Um, um, yeah, we'll um, cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, um, I wanted to talk about this because they have SM. Well, I know we won't talk about K pop, but like we'll talk about it on the panel. But like. I guess for we'll cross that bridge, but um, but they just released the two members for the NCT Universe thing. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about that tomorrow night on the um on the on the um on the live because that was yeah that's I was I was weird. so uncomfortable looking at that. That's weird. That's a child. Yeah, I was like. Mm. This don't this just don't sit right with me. I don't like that. I was just like, <laughs> I don't know. SM is just well, just being weird at this point. 
I don't know what's going on with them. But we'll we'll talk about that tomorrow on the podcast. Not the podcast, but the live stream. And I also I listened to EXO's album Exist. And um that's a good album. It's I didn't a, listen to it. It's a good it's a good album. I was like, okay, this is this is pretty good. You know, I was sitting up here, I was like, get my life, I was tapping my tap my foot and everything like that. Now Dara's stuff supposed to come out tonight or tomorrow. We, I'm gonna be on the twelfth. It's coming out on the twelfth. So I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna laugh because so yeah, far we from gonna have a we gotta have a watch party for that, please. Oh God! Because I've been listening to previews of the song and I'm like, this don't sound so good. In my opinion, it don't sound good. In my opinion, I like yeah, the little bit that it has been playing. You know, the little preview. I'm like, I don't feel nothing. Me neither. It's, it's very, very flat, and, dry, like yeah. de- like desert dirt. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, ooh, girl, like you, mm, I, you should have asked Menzi to give you a feature, girl, because this ain't it, child. Right. Like, I don't know what this is. Girl, this ain't it. I was listening to a little bit today. I'm like, ooh, this is what you're giving the people. <laughs> you can take it. <laughs> girl, you, we've been waiting a year for this. I don't know. Some of the girls might like it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe she'll surprise us when we hear the whole thing. Maybe, and then we can see her abs that she sucked in the last time. And the girl, that <laughs> oh, picture God. had me cracking up laughing. So as I got off the live, I was still laughing about that. I'm like, why is she holding her stomach in like that? And girl, what made it worse? She had the brace in for her head. I said, oh, double homicide. She. <laughs> mm-hmm. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Who did her hair? G Dragon, you do her That's hair? Wrong, did you know how to do box braids? Did you did you take her and take those out and put her in her hair? Oh goodness. Oh my let me stop. Child, that was the funniest thing I ever seen in my life. She knows she was wrong putting that in her hair. That look that that looked bad. She know it looked bad. Right. <laughs> It was bad. It was really bad. <laughs> I'm still think over her laughing about it. It was really bad, y'all. It was like it was, it was just it was just horrible. But you know, mm, mm, mm-hmm. I went to her TikTok today. <laughs> I went to her TikTok today. And, you know, she she looks good for her age. Like she's 39, 40. She looks real good for her age. So you know, you she, she look young, you hold yeah, young. Yeah, she looks good mm-hmm. for her age. I think she Dara would do good if she would do would keep continue doing what she do as being a at MC and host and stuff and, and variety. That's yeah, what she's that's good at. That's where she shines. She's yeah. very good at that. The the song stuff is just it's not her. Somebody make tell her to stop, please. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm pretty you sure tell nobody her to stop. asked for this comeback. <laughs> nobody asked for this comeback. I'm sorry. Are you you so somebody has to stop her. Usagi is your job. You have to go over there. And, uh, you need to stop her. Well, I, I, I'm a, I well, I'm gonna ask CEO to put a stop to it. The girl, CEO somewhere with her I, white man. No, she ain't with her white man. My bad. She up with her Australian meat. I mm-hmm. wonder if they still sneaky links. It's been a while since I saw any, any interaction between those two. I wonder. Right. I'm like, girl, CL, you up here hitting that? You hitting that? Girl, I got to mm-hmm. give it to Must you with that. Nice. That's all I can say. All Must right. be nice. Ask them, like, girl, what you doing with that man? Why, how are you handling that? Because right. <laughs> that's a lot of meat right there. Mm-hmm. I want to know. I know she's still hitting it. Just tell the truth. Sis, are you hitting it? Yeah, tell the truth. Maybe she just got sneaky, sneaky link. You know, just put more on, more under wraps. Oh, okay. Ooh, see, I know you was moving out here like that. Girl. <laughs> you getting that, she getting that thing wore out. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, girl. it's okay, sis. It's all right. You, you grown out. You got to do what you got to do. It's fine. You know, just make sure, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, you already know, get you some plan B and shit. You're going to be all right. <laughs> mm-hmm. But y'all, we're going to get off here uh, for tonight. We will see y'all Wednesday night and Sunday night. We're going to have the stream tomorrow night. Um, 
y'all already know how SM is. They tend to always do stuff. They just do stuff, man. They, Lord G. Oh, and speaking of um, K-pop, I'm very excited. Odd Eye Girls, they make a comeback this week. I'm very excited yeah. about this comeback, girl. Yeah. I am excited. I'm they, ready. they I'm have, ready. They ready. have like decided. You know, what I'm saying they like, you know, you know, they don't do the converses no more. Like they got rid of the converses. They on to Air Force Ones. I'm like Air Force One. Okay, I like this right here. I love this concept, so I'm like, okay, so I'm very excited about this. And y'all know Orbitz, no matter if the girls went to different companies, Orbitz is going to support this group. And, yeah, I, I already know that this is going to be a, a chart-topping song. I already heard the previews. The whole album sounds good, so I'm excited for it. So I'm going to be supporting this. I'm glad to see the Odd Eye Girls back together doing their thing. I'm just glad all the girls are signed and, you know, doing different stuff. So this is going to be great. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, with that being said, this is Hood Action News. Y'all have a good evening. We're your host, I'm Gigi. I'm Usagi. And I'm Ae. And y'all have a good night. You take care of yourself and be safe. And we'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.